Good day, IB to everyone who might be watching this video, especially to my lecturer, Dr. Abdul Halim, who had been teaching me the seismic wave imaging subject during my final year, final semester. My topic for my technical review is the full waveform inversion, or also known as FWI for short. In this presentation, I will be explaining about what is FWI and how does it work in subsurface imaging. In addition, I will also include uh, the imaging results using FWI in some of the challenging geological structure, namely salt bodies, gas cloud, and overburden environment. Full waveform inversion is one of the methods in seismic wave imaging in which the theory was originated by Lyle in 1983 and Tarantola in 1984. FWI provides velocity model for migration purpose which probably in the future will be able to substitute the conventional lengthy pre-processing and migration uh, process. It works by generating all waveforms, including the diving waves, primary and surface and internal multiples. However, this method is lacking in its consistency in the uh, workflow scheme, which involves different data types and geological settings which means different workflow or different for different data types and geological settings. This method is also very expensive since the data need to be acquired using large offsets and high frequency for deeper penetration and higher resolution data. Despite the problem mentioned before, researchers continue to develop this method and some problems such as cycle skipping and amplitude mismatch are now solved. Different data types and geological settings can also uh, be included in this uh, FWI's workflow scheme. Recently, Huang et al. had suggested to modify the FWI workflow so that it can output the image without ever going through the lengthy processing. Before FWI method, Migration is a conventional workflow in imaging the subsurface, but unfortunately, it can only handle a single scattering energy, which makes this method time-consuming. Velocity model building, or VMB, was introduced next. However, VMB was quite challenging for a more complex geology, and it has data constraint. Preprocessing has always been in the workflow, but removing noise completely is not always an easy task since some of the primary signals might be removed. In case for FWI, some of the data needed might be discarded during preprocessing, as stated by Fersher et al. in 1992 and Wang et al. in 2013. Migration of multiples, in the other hand, is limited to surface multiples only and Young et al. in 2015 stated that it also suffered from crosstalk noise. This square migration, or LSM for short, however, has the same case with the conventional migration. It can only handle single scattering energy. Plus, it requires separation between the primary and other multiples. For FWM, or the full ref field migration, need no separation between the multiples and this method can be combined into GMI or the joint migration inversion. However, it cannot handle the diving waves problems unlike FWI. Moving on, I will continue with the application of FWI methods on challenging geological structures, particularly in salt bodies gas cloud and overburden, together with its imaging results from various research papers that I had found. For a complex geological structure as, uh, such as salt, the main challenges would be its steep dipping structure, which will act as uh, lenses that distort the seismic energy, thus will weaken the seismic reflection. In this particular location, which is the Gulf of Mexico, data with longer offset, uh, which is 30 km, and lower frequency, 1.5 Hz, are needed to be able to perform FWI methods. The figures shows 
the result of the imaging before and after FWI was applied. Before FWI, we can notice that the continuity uh, here was abrupt, abrupted and the boundary at the steep dipping area is not really clear. This problem was improved when using FWI method as we can see in the figure here. There is some improvement in the continuity and steep dipping uh, problem has been solved. However, there are several concerns in which crosstalk noise produced by multiples could be mapped and turned into FWI image, and some events mapped might be artificial. Continue with the next uh, geological settings, which is the gas cloud. The concern for these geological settings would be the strong attenuation, resolution, degradation, and amplitude dimming. And because of the strong absorption, there will be barely any signals left for the rest of the imaging. However, in FWI, it can use the diving waves and multiples to image the rest of the subsurface. This example was taken from uh, the Barents Sea using 8.2 km offsets with frequency of 40 Hz. Despite the gas cloud effect, the faults can be imaged clearly when using FWI. For overburdened geological settings, amplitude dimming, wipeouts, and distortions of structure is a common challenge in imaging uh, overburdened structures. FWI are able to help us with these challenges by providing high resolution velocity and high impedance volume. The example here is from the Western Black Sea area with complex overburden. The figure before is using the high effort tomography where the resolution or the display of um, the image is not very clear. After FWI method was applied, the image has a better resolution than the image before and small details of the structure can be imaged as well. Here are more examples on how FWI can improve the imaging of the subsurface. This is a comparison between the conventional impedance and the FWI impedance results. The most obvious difference would be um, in hazard 1, where in conventional impedance, the gas risk was not identified, while in FWI impedance, the gas body was clearly shown in the image. More comparison between different methods and FWI methods in imaging the salt body. Figure A is using a 20 Hz reverse time migration method. Figure B using 20 Hz um, least square reverse time migration method. And figure C shows the FWI image. We can clearly see that figure C, which is using the FWI, shows a better and clearer image than the other methods, especially at the steep dipping area of the salt body. This is another comparison of a depth slice image using different methods, which uh, figure on the left is using Kirchhoff method of 100 Hertz, uh, and the figure in the middle is using 40 Hz of Q reverse time migration method and last picture are using uh, the 40 Hz FWI methods. Again, we can see that FWI output a clear and high image resolution compared to the others. In conclusion, full waveform imaging is one of the advancement um, in seismic imaging and researchers has successfully proven that FWI can accommodate different data types in geological settings. It is impossible that this method might be able to replace the data pre-processing steps. However, this method requires um, low frequency data and high quality seismic data, which uh, is more expensive. Here are all the research papers 
that I had used for my reference while making this technical review. Um, for that, uh, I would like to say thank you and stay safe.